Aging is unlike other elements of health. It is a human condition that we can neither prevent nor cure. The United Nations define a country as aging if the share of its population that is 65 years or older crosses 7%. So magic number 7% means you are aging. It's considered aged if that share exceeds 14%. And once that, shares, once that share reaches 21%, it's considered super aged. Singapore, we took 19 years and became aged in 2017. 115 years, 85 years, 70, 69 years, and we, 19 years. And then the gap for Singapore between aged and super aged is estimated at only nine years, which means we will attain super aged status in 2026. Like pension systems, most health systems in the world are designed when life expectancy were much lower. This system is focused on hospital care, which is the most costly part of the whole healthcare ecosystem. Hence, building on the foundation established over many years, we developed Healthier SG, our preventive care strategy, which we were launched in July this year. Healthier SG delivers preventive care by building up primary care. Family physicians in community and polyclinics, and it becomes the foundational level of healthcare. However, it is the commonsensical, easy things that always get put off because there are no immediate consequences and therefore they, fall, they fell prey to inertia. Community support can help us overcome those inertia. In particular, with community support, there are great opportunities for seniors to age healthily in communities. And this is the next area where big changes need to take place. Hence, beyond Healthier SG, the next area of priority for MOH is to build up community care, to get us all to do what is right for our health, to support ageing in communities. And I'm glad quite a number of members have spoken about this. It will be a continuation of Healthier SG, and as a national programme, as ambitious and as extensive as Healthier SG.